Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at wave in terms of calculation. So we're going to be looking at the wave equation and also the period equation. So what you need to know is um, the basic of it. You need to know what this symbol represent, V, F, and lambda. So V will represent the wave speed. F the frequency and lambda will be the wavelength and the relationship between them will be represented by this formula which is V equals to F lambda and you can see from this equation the relationship between um, speed and wavelength and also the relationship between speed and frequency so in this case if the frequency is constant, then the speed and the wavelength will be directly proportional to each other. One increase, the other one increase. And if the lambda or the wavelength is constant, then the speed and the frequency will be directly proportional to each other as well. Alright, the second formula we're done here that we're going to be looking at is the period equation. Same thing. As a basic, you need to know um, what this symbol represents. So T capital here is the period. And F is frequency. And the formula is T equals to 1 over F. So it could go either way. It's also F equals to 1 over T. And you can see the relationship between frequency and period here. Um, they are inversely proportional to each other. So when period increase, frequency decrease, frequency increase, period decrease, right? And then also required for the SPM syllabus is two phenomena that you need to know. The first phenomena is damping and the second one is known as resonance. So for damping, you need to know its definition and how the graph look like. So if you see any question, uh, multiple choice or paper two questions, and they show you this graph whereby the amplitude of that wave decrease with time, then that means that is a damping process. Okay, so a damping is a phenomena where the amplitude of the oscillation or the amplitude of the vibrations gradually decrease and eventually become zero when the vibration stops obviously so typically it is caused by either f resistance or friction so it is caused by drag forces so you can link this back to uh, what you learned in secondary four uh, in terms of forces and then the second uh, phenomena that you need to know is called resonance and to know what resonance is you also need to know the definition of natural frequency so the natural frequency the definition would be the frequency at which um, atoms in an object naturally vibrates at so we all know that um, a solid object for instance have a particle arrangement that looks kind of like this they are closer together but we also know that these particles are vibrating even though they are they don't they are not they don't have that enough energy to be moving around but they still vibrate in one place so the vibration that they cause have a certain frequency to it and that frequency will is the natural frequency right so when we talk about resonance so resonance is the form uh, is a phenomena when you have a vibration a system with some kind of oscillation or vibration which is um which is made or made to move at the same natural frequency of the object so um, whatever is written here is just basically telling it in words okay so uh, when this happen this will cause a maximum energy transfer 
and it will oscillate at a large amplitude. So you kind of need to know some of the effects that it's caused as well. Um, so instrument that use wind usually will um, use resonance. And when you uh, sit on a swing, and as you swing by, if you are able to get to a natural frequency of your some of the organs in you, um, especially like uh, the beating of your heart, so if you can get near to the natural frequency of your beating heart, then uh, you will be in a state that we call euphoria. So that's why you feel so happy when you're on a swing. Okay, if you can get up to that speed, and then um. If you are able to get the exact natural frequency, not near to the natural frequency, like in this example here, then you will be able to cause um, a break in the in the vibration of that uh, of the atoms in the natural in that object when it's naturally. So it will cause that object uh, to vibrate at a maximum energy, and therefore that's why the glass can break when you use the sound of your voice. Okay. So what we're going to be looking next is um, a past SPM question. This is a paper 2 question. So the first question here, they gave you a picture with um, a slinky vibrating. And they also give you the distance from K to L. So this is the point of a trough here. So you need to be um, careful when you look at this kind of diagram. Uh, we'll see soon. So this is the propagation and this is the movement left and right. So that means that this is transverse wave. Okay, so you can um, pause the video, try out these questions and then come back later for the answer. All right, so for question 1A, they ask you the type of the wave which is generated by the slinky. So because the propagation is towards this direction and the movement here is left and right this is imagining you're looking at it from the top of this uh, whole system okay so that means that this slinky generated a transverse wave okay. and then um, the second one the second question is asking you what is being transferred by the wave so this is something that you just must know that um, the one that is being transferred is energy, obviously. Okay, and then the third question, uh, they give you some information here, which is it is vibrated five times in one second. And you also know that frequency is how many times the vibration happened or how many cycle in one second. So that means this five times in one second is the frequency of this whole motion up there. And so the frequency is five hertz, right? And then they also give you the distance here, which is written in centimeter, between K and L. So that will give you some information on the wavelength. Right? But you got to be careful here because this 63 cm is two wave. Tra to tra and tra to tra. So that means that two wavelength is 63 cm. And you gotta need to find the wavelength for one uh, wavelength, which will be thirty one point five cm when you work that when you work that out. So uh, they want you to find the wave speed, and we will be using the wave equation, which is v equals to f lambda, and your frequency is five. Your lambda is thirty one point five cm, which also equal to. 0 0.315 meter okay, because we need to find the speed in meter per second and then when you work that, that out then your answer will become 1.58 meter per second right. so now we're going to look at the second question that we have here so you can um, pause the video Try out the, this question and then come back later for the answer. Okay, so this question gives you um, a displacement time graph. So first thing that you need to do is, of course, to determine what kind of graph it is. 
and then when you know that here is a time then therefore then one full cycle of the wave this will be the period okay so now the question asks you what is the amplitude of the oscillation so that's relatively easy then you just need to know um, the displacement over there which is the height of the wave in other words and you got them as 4 and the unit is written here cm so you can just write down the answer here for cm and then for the period of the loaded spring you just need to find out one full cycle of the wave and then you got the t here and the time is in seconds so the answer is 0 0.2 seconds and then the third one they want you to find the frequency so you can just use the period equation Either that or the other one doesn't matter so this one I have already moved them around so 1 over 0 0.2 when you work that out you will get 5 Hertz so the first thing is in terms of calculation so you got two equation the wave and the period and then this is B equals to F lambda. This is D equals to 1 over F. And then you've also looked at some of the phenomena. You've got damping. And also, and also resonance. So for damping, you need to know the definition. And the graph. For resonance, the definition. And some example and basically that's it for today so next video will be looking at um, wave phenomena such as reflection refraction and so on okay that's all thank you